our journey continues together with this world. Finally arrived in Ella after a long drive from Arugam Bay. Our first destination was the famous 9th Arch Bridge with its impressive construction. Small hint, try not to wear sandals since there are a lot of leeches, especially when you go down. We checked in at this beautiful hotel which is located on the hill and has an amazing view. Then we made our way to Little Adam's Peak for sunset. The hike is considered relatively easy and it is a really enjoyable experience. Good afternoon, welcome to Uwahal Pewata Tea Factory. My name is Sally. Now I am going to introduce the green leaf. This is the green leaf looks like. All the antioxidant minerals you find in the small tip only. So here in this factory we make only black tea. For that purpose we are taking the whole leaf into our process. There are about 125 female workers working in the field. They start work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Each plucker will bring 20 kilos per day. If you are going to purchase any tea around the world, you can go for the date of manufacture. June, July, August is the best. We woke up early in the morning to experience the train ride in Sri Lanka from Ella to Kandy. Just in our case, we got out earlier after an hour and drove back to Ella just for the experience. And it was so worth it. Booking tickets in advance is recommended. The train ride offers breathtaking scenery and a chance to interact with locals. Ella is a beautiful town surrounded by rolling hills, which offers beautiful landscapes, tea plantations, and hiking trails. It tends to be cooler up here since it's located on a hill. And now, as the last part of Ella, let me also show you the amazing shopping strip and the actually best restaurant we have been so far.
arrived in Kandy. It is a city located in the central region of Sri Lanka and it is the second largest city in this country. It is known for its culture value, natural beauty and historical landmarks. So, Kandy is a must-visit destination for everyone traveling to Sri Lanka. This temple is an important religious site for Buddhists. It is believed to house a tooth relic of Gautama Buddha, which is considered one of the most sacred relics in Buddhism. The temple holds great religious and cultural significance for Buddhists worldwide and attracts thousands of pilgrims and tourists each year. With its stunning architecture, deep history, and spiritual atmosphere, it is a must visit for those seeking a profound connection to Buddhism. You might think we are crazy, but we are back in a car and we are on our way to Ella from Candy, which is not planned at all because we wanted to stay two nights in Candy. But we heard about a festival near Ella, so that's why we are going back to Ella to check out this festival since it's only once in a year. We really want to check this out, so we are going to drive all the way back to Ella and then tomorrow we are off to Sigiria, which is also going to be such a long drive since we wanted to go to Sigiria from Kandy because it's only like two and a half hours and tomorrow we have to drive about four and a half hours, but I think it's going to be totally worth it. We arrived in Zigiria yesterday in the evening but we went straight to bed because we were so tired from the drive because from Ella it took us four and a half hours to get here to Zigiria but it was so worth it the festival it really took place and we have been there and it was amazing we just got ready because we were on our way to Pidurangada rock which we actually wanted to do today for sunrise but we couldn't get up we were so tired so we're just gonna do it now it's 9 a.m and later on we are going to some locals which we got invited to on the airport which we met so i'm very excited for that one too it's going to be our last dinner here together with locals and then we have to fly back home We bought tickets for the Pidurangala Rock, which is by the way much cheaper than the Lion Rock. It has a religious site on its premises, so you will get close to dress respectfully for a short walk. The hike usually takes around 30 to 45 minutes. It has panoramic views of the surrounding landscape, including Zagiria itself. It was so beautiful.
We met Shanila, a local from Sri Lanka at the airport, and she was so kind and invited us for a Sri Lankan cuisine with her entire family. We actually spent the entire day with these beautiful people. This was such a perfect ending of our wonderful trip in Sri Lanka. Oh, wow. <laughs>